So we've looked over the auto color correct feature. Now I'm going to show you how to use the uh, Lumetri color correction, which gives you a lot more options as far as uh, setting up advanced color grading or if you like to make your videos look a lot different. So let's go over here to the effects and I'm going to type in L-U-M. ET for Lumet and then it's going to bring up this Lumetri color. I'm going to drag this onto my clip and then look at all these different options we have. Now if you're familiar with Premiere Pro, you can you have all of these uh, selections. So you have basic correction, you know, you have uh, creative curves, all of these different options. And so what I want to do for this one is I'm going to go to the creative and I'm going to go through these different looks. Now the only thing about um, about After Effects that is a downfall to Premiere is when you're going through these looks, you can use your arrow keys uh, to you know select one, and then you have to click on each one to see what it does. So you could actually bring this over to Premiere by going into my project. I could take this composition and click and hold, and then we'll use Alt Tab or Command Tab on a Mac, and we'll go into Premiere, and I'm going to drop this in here. So then I can create a new sequence, and this is using Dynamic Link. And when I play this back, you can see that it just looks as a standard color uh, from what's been updated in After Effects. But if I go to this color panel, I can scroll through these looks, click on this, and I can scroll through what I see on here. So this is helpful to see, be, be able to see beforehand what it looks like. Then you can increase the intensity. And so once you find the look that you want, let's go to uh, scroll through a couple of these. So let's say I want to use this uh, LDR. We can double click. It's going to apply it to my clip. So now notice we've got kind of a blue hue. And then if I save this and go back to After Effects, you'll see that it hasn't been updated. But what I can do is go back to my effect controls and uh, look at the one in Premiere. So this is my SL Big LDR. And then we'll go here and find that one in here to be able to apply that uh, color correction. Now it may look a little different. You can use this high dynamic range and that's um, if they're already enabled in Lumetri Color it'll give you this um, this After Effects warning. But in order to use this you have to be on 32 bits per channel to get an accurate display. So on ours if we go back to project we're only on 8 we would need to have that on 32. So we're on 8 bits per channel. We change that to 32. Now this is going to do, it's going to increase your file size and it's going to change a lot of other different things. So uh, you can go back to your effect controls and then check that if you want to be able to see the difference. So we can check this and then have it uh, be able to be a little bit more of an accurate display. But we're going to uncheck this and then just leave the SL Big LDR on and then we can increase the intensity if we'd like. Uh, we could also do all these other different adjustments. So a quick way to be able to see the color corrections that you're making in After Effects. We've also got these curves. You can use that for contrast um, and then some other options like the vignette which we've also used as an effect but you can add that into your um, your workflow here. So hopefully that was helpful and uh, in the next section I'm going to be going over some 3D options and one of the best features of After Effects. We're going to go over uh, lights and cameras and ways to make your layers 3Ds. So I look forward to showing you guys that and I'll see you in that section.